Well, today is going to be the second day that we see pretty much full sunshine for our weather today, and that looks to continue as we head through the next couple of days. Now, there's a lot going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere, which allows this to happen for us. This is what we call an omega block, where we have high pressure locked in by low pressure on the west and the east on either side of that high pressure. So it's physically blocked in by low pressure on either side of it. And we see that happening right now as we have a ridge of high pressure building in over the Great Lake states. And then we also have low pressure offshore. And this is what's allowing us to see a lot of that sunshine as we head through the next several days. As we advance it through, as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, we'll continue to see low pressure off to the east, low pressure off to the west with a ridge of high pressure in the middle. And this is li lifting up the jet stream off to the north. Now we're also going to be seeing an increase in temperatures as we head into the middle and end of next week as well as the ridge of high pressure pretty much builds right over New England and we're going to see the jet stream lift up off to our north. So we're going to be seeing some above average temperatures as we head into the end of next week, perhaps getting up to near 50. Now, as we take a look at the weekend for next weekend, then the pattern starts to break down a little bit and we enter more of a zonal flow where we pretty much have the jet stream setting up just off to our south, where we kind of typically see it for this time of year with strong low pressure off to the north as well. Now, in terms of the sunshine tracker, because of this high pressure that's being locked in place, we're going to be looking at lots of sunshine throughout the next several days, pretty much today full sunshine, tomorrow, Tuesday as well. Now, there's an area of low pressure lingering offshore, which looks to bring us a little bit of some cloud cover from the east. So we could see a little bit of some cloudiness as we head into the day on Wednesday, but then it looks like we'll rebound nicely for Thursday and into Friday with a decent amount of sunshine as well. Now, in terms of the temperature outlook, we're looking at the uh, Climate Prediction Center outlook for temperatures. This takes you through February 11th through the 17th, and it looks like the southern tier of the country as well as the western tier of the country are going to be trending pretty much right where they should be for this time of year or leaning slightly cooler whereas the northern half of the country is going to lean in a warmer than normal direction. So what that means is we'll see temperatures perhaps a few degrees above average for this time of year. Keep in mind our average high is 35 degrees here in Springfield, and we're going to be pretty much right where we should be for the next couple of days. But then as the ridge of high pressure builds in, jet stream lifts off to the north, we're going to continue to see an increase in temperatures as we head into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week, where we could be taking a run at the 50s. So that's about 15 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. In terms of the precipitation outlook, it looks like the majority of the country is going to be seeing drier than normal conditions aside from the deep south in Florida and into Texas and New Mexico. Whereas here in New England, we're going to be pretty much where we should be for this time of year. There's really no signs that say we'll lean either way. Now here's what's going on at the surface. So earlier I showed you was happening in the upper levels of the atmosphere at the surface. So again, we have low pressure offshore and then high pressure building in pretty much right over New England. That's allowing us to see a lot of that sunshine. Now there's a low pressure system as well as a lot of wet weather happening across portions of the south and it's being kept at, down to the south due to the stationary front as well as high pressure across New England. So this is going to allow us to stay pretty much all dry for the next several days. Looking at our future cast, this is for the, this afternoon. We'll see a breeze coming in out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but pretty much full sunshine. Same goes for your day on Monday as well. We'll continue with the breeze out of the north, so the temperature might feel a few degrees cooler than what the thermometer reads, but we're going to be looking at some mostly sunny skies. Heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see a few flurries across portions of eastern mass. That low pressure system lingering offshore is going to try to throw a few clouds in our direction as we head into the day on Wednesday, but we are going to remain mainly dry. Now, as we head into the rest of the day, that really our next chance for any showers on the 10-day forecast really doesn't come until perhaps getting into Saturday of next weekend, where we do have the chance for some showers, but temperatures are still going to be up near 50. We'll look to dry things out for Sunday, and then we're watching another storm system, which looks to come in possibly for the following week to start off. But again, that's a long way out, so we will continue to monitor that as we get closer. But in the short term, pretty much now through Friday, lots of sunshine.